everyone welcome back to my allotment diaries my name is Emma these are my allotment diaries I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel which 10,000 of you have I know I'm seriously over overwhelmed that um, over 10,000 of you are now subscribed to this channel, over 20,000 of you follow me on Instagram, it's just amazing. Um, I don't really know what to say about it other than I really hope that you're enjoying these vlogs. Apologise for the aeroplane. Despite the numerous aeroplanes, helicopters and creatures that come and interrupt my vlogging and my show, um, I'm just so thankful that so many of you decided to stick around and enjoy what I do. So I'm just going to continue doing what I love to do, which is to try and figure out how to grow my own stuff on this allotment plot, make all the mistakes in the world and hopefully get some really good advice from you guys because I do listen to your advice. Um, and on that note, in regards to the uh, potatoes that I sowed in the bucket, I've read so much conflicting advice online, so many of you saying you don't have to earth them up if they're in a bucket, some people saying that you should anyway, I'm just going to earth them up and see what happens, so I will let you know on that one. Right, I've got some stuff to do today, I've actually brought some actual equipment with me which is incredible, right? This doesn't normally happen, but I did manage to get down to Wilco's the weekend, we've got a couple of supplies, a couple of supplies, so I've got some netting um, for the bean structure, which, can you believe it, is actually still up, <laughs> I can't believe it, um, yeah, so that's good, um, and I also brought some, um, no, I brought those, some twine to do my broad beans. Um, so those are my two jobs today and then I might see if I can get round to doing the other planter at the front but anyway let's get going with let's do the bean structure first because like I said it's still up so as you can see the bean structure stayed up so I'm assuming that means that it can just tolerate beans now um, which is really good so it's balancing you on a plank All right I think you can sort of see there you can sort of see what I'm about to do so the idea is going to be to staple gun the netting. Um, we'll just see how this goes, I suppose. Yes. Yes. I might get some twine. giant spider web but like for beans not flies I hope birds don't get stuck in it that's my first thought when I'm putting it up I'm thinking if a stupid bird just flies straight through it can't see it <sighs> I'm really happy with that like I'm really really happy with this structure I just think it's so good and I really love the fact that I've just used what I've got in my plot and I haven't gone and brought one of those big bean structure things because sometimes you don't need to I mean look what it is it's just a couple of branches that I've stuck in the ground um, and then a little pole across the top and then just netting I don't know if you can actually see the netting but it's here it's quite good I think the beans will grow up it quite happily um, and it doesn't use too much room if there's not much support so I might have to put some in at some point I'm just really happy with that I think that's going to be a really good bean structure right so this this now takes this area here to like bean city and then obviously around beans courgettes grow really well so it, it stands to reason that I should put my courgette plants around the bean structure I'm um, growing at the bottom and then perhaps over here I could have some potatoes or something else um, yeah I do think courgettes because courgettes and beans go together they're like friends um, so yeah I think that's good need the staple gun in the end Right, so the next job of the day is again another structure sort of job because these broad beans are now getting quite big. Now the weather's cleared up and it's got sunny, you were right, they have started to grow and come into their own, but they do now need quite a bit of support. Now when I hadn't Googled it, um, when it was ungoogled, I just started putting these poles in, but that's not actually the way you do it. So I'm actually going to do what I've seen online, how people support these broad beans. And you can see, look, I'm starting to get some flowers. Um, 
so I really do think I need to support them now basically if I've got any chance of getting any beans right let, let's do this I'll just show you how I do it really it's the point of the vlog isn't it for me to show you otherwise I'll just talk you through it <laughs> they were going to do anyway. That's the first bit of the operation. Sticks. I do think you sort of know what I'm trying to do. I wasn't sure of the exact pattern that the twine had to make, but when I was putting it around, it just didn't seem right. So I sort of put more and more on. Now it's a bit of a like geometrical pattern, but I think it's gonna support them okay. I've never done this before for support, but basically I've just put twine across the sticks um, and hopefully they'll sort of, I don't know how that one's gonna be supported. But hopefully, I mean, this is what people do to them. So I'm really hoping that they sort of grow around them. And if they flop, they'll flop onto the string. Some of them are being held up, actually. I do tell a lie. They look a bit better, don't they? They do look a bit more upright. Well, as usual, one of my new sayings is, it's what we've done, and uh, what we've done is what we've done. So hopefully, it will sort of grow now and just be happy. But it's better than no support, isn't it? The only other thing that I know people will say is that I'm going to impale myself on these things. And you're right, I am. I'm going to collect some kind of bottles or something to put on the top. I think I've actually got some beer bottles. I might do that now. Safety first. <laughs> somebody came up with this actually in the comments and thank you for your suggestion to do with this little pallet here instead of putting pots in I'm going to use one of these old um, compost bags which can make really good planters apparently because obviously they hold compost don't they so they can hold compost again as long as you put drainage holes in I think most things you can actually use as a planter and they suggested staple gunning it to the inside putting soil in and growing something that way and I just thought it was a great idea and I'd like to try it um, and maybe it will hold more moisture I don't know I don't really know how it all works but I thought it'd be a good idea to try it so what I'm going to do is whack it in <laughs> inside out the black will show won't it is we'll do it inside out and then the black will show and the colour will be inside. Might look a little bit less like an old bag, do you know what I mean? Oh no, not a white top. Why am I wearing a white top? Honestly, recently I've been coming to the plot dressed in the worst way possible. Some of you picked up on my white trainers the other day. Well, they are ruined, destroyed. I don't know what I was thinking. Just so scatty sometimes. Sort of swish it in like this. Then I staple it where I want it to be. Like this. And then I cut it. this would be quite good for a hanging basket as well so if you buy a cheap hanging basket and you just use the compost bag for the actual liner inside it I'm sure it'll work fine as long as you put drainage holes in like I said otherwise it'll all just drown
Right, there we go. I'm really happy with that, actually. That was such a super amazing idea. Thank you so much. And it didn't cost me anything. I don't know if you saw, but, um, well, you, you did see, because I filmed it. I just dug up some compost from one of the raised beds, um, because it's perfectly good compost. I try not to get so many weeds in there, but, you know, it happens. Um, and what I'll probably do is buy some little plug plant, look, some little flowers, and put those in. It'd be really nice at the front of my plot, and I think it will attract some more pollinators in and stuff, and just look really nice. Plus, I've sort of utilise the entire pallet space so I've got even more growing space as opposed to doing the pots which still work quite well and tulips are still happy and alive but this is just a really a really good idea it's so good it's so cheap and look I've got the little bag sticking out the bottom with the drainage holes in fantastic didn't cost me anything absolutely love coming here and then doing things that don't cost you anything as well I think that's just the beauty of an allotment plot because it isn't your back garden is it it's an allotment plot and we want it to look nice and like look pretty so that you can come here and it can be your little sanctuary but at the same time you don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on it do you um so this was just a great idea thank you <laughs> Okay then, that's me done today. So I've done the three main jobs that I wanted to get done this morning. I feel really good for coming down here. I always feel really good for coming down here. Um, and then basically I've just got some more weeding to do. The poly tunnel will be going up soon. The thing is, is I've got nothing to plant in it just yet. So there's no kind of rush. I'm trying this thing this year called patience, where I actually wait until I need to do things um, so that it doesn't fly away or something because we are still only in like the beginning half of March so we could have another three storms for all we know and a snowstorm as well so I'm trying not to get too ahead of myself but it's hard isn't it because spring is my favourite time of year it's most gardeners favourite time of year and it just feels so good to be getting going again hope you enjoyed the vlog today thank you for subscribing if you already have 10,000 of you and um yeah do subscribe if you're new because it just makes me happy it makes me realize that people do like these and i'll keep going with them really until there's nothing left to grow which will be never and i will see you uh, on wednesday guys have a lovely week see you wednesday bye